Brad Korn, CMO Men's Basketball. All right, Coach, can you give us your general thoughts on the upcoming season? Uh, again, just looking forward to, uh, you know, we returned nine guys from, from last year's team, so developing into new roles and um, just bringing the guys together. Uh, it's a group that competes. They get after it. They seem to enjoy playing with and for one another. So uh, just really looking forward to uh, embarking on another OVC season and building off the success that we had last year. What are you most looking forward to this season? Well, I don't know. Every year is different. And I think, the, like I said earlier, just finding new roles, developing into new roles, seeing how they all mesh together, that's the exciting thing. It's uh, this time in basketball, to be able to say you bring back nine guys from a championship team is, is kind of an outlier to have a guy like Dylan Branson here with us today who's been his fourth year in the program. That's a little bit of an outlier in, in today's college basketball landscape. So I'm excited that we have returners and our, our new guys are, are blending in well with them and meshing well together. So I'm really just excited to see what this team can become towards the end of the season, much like last year's team did. What is one important thing that you believe must happen in order for your team to be successful this year? Uh, staying together. I, I think our guys, especially the returners, understand that when we when we came together at the very end of the season, uh, we we've, we did reach our potential of what the team could be and what we thought we could have been all along. So uh, really just understanding that we don't have to wait until the end. You don't have to be motivated by outside influences. You should be motivated by yourself and uh, the guys in that locker room with you. So uh, to me, it's just going to be um, just coming together and, and playing to our potential. And whatever that looks like each and every day, is, is that, that will be what it is for that day. Uh, but understanding that we don't have to wait until the end to, uh, to reach that. What are your general impressions of the OBC race this year? I think it's just going to be this way for the next couple of years, just, just wide open. Um, you know, I think we've put ourselves in a conversation to bring a little bit more uh, attention to ourselves having won the championship last year. Uh, but at the same time, you know, we last year was last year, but we were 10 and 8. And I feel we underachieved in league play. So uh, big goals, big dreams for us. And I think everyone, especially with the way the portal and, and roster turnover, uh, everyone feels excited this time of year, and it's just going to come down to who, who's going to be the team that, that rises above throughout the, the gauntlet of, of our travel and uh, the, the way the whole league schedule plays out.